What's up guys, it's Hussein. Welcome to another software talk. I'm here in beautiful San Francisco. And uh, in this topic we're gonna discuss locks. Let me go to a quiet place first. So the first question we need to answer is why locks? Why do we need the locks in the database? Imagine this scenario where you're writing this tool that's supposed to generate a report, okay? And in order to do that, you will have to obviously query many tables, uh, right? You query one table, take the result, join it with another table, maybe you're gonna write multiple SQL, and touch so many tables, right? So if you want to guarantee a consistency in your report, especially if it's sales, you don't want people touching, making changes to these tables while you are actually reading those, okay? So what you do is says, hmm, by the way, I'm about to read, okay? And so I'm gonna, go ahead and create a lock which is for me to read those tables and this is called a shared lock sometimes it's called the read lock so people that tries to attempt to edit that table will know mm, someone is actually reading this thing uh, I better leave it alone okay and the way it is done is by the other type of lock which is we're gonna talk about it in a second. So once you have your shared log or read log, you can safely go ahead and read all those uh, tables, making 100% sure that you will never, nobody ever will change whatever you're reading be, while you're actually reading it. The trick is, when, whenever you're done, you should release that log, okay? And the reason is for the other type of people who want to edit, all right? And if you want to edit anything, like let's say this is a table, I want to insert a new sale, right? I just made a sale, I want to insert a new sale in this table, okay? To do that, you have to ask the database for something called an exclusive flock, okay? Exclusive locks will tell you, oh, sometimes it's called write locks, will tell you that, okay, you are good and ready to edit this table, okay? The trick is to get an exclusive lock, it's slightly harder than getting a read lock. To get an exclusive lock, you should never have any read locks on your table or row or database, it depends on the type of locks, right? But that's the trick. If you want to obtain exclusive lock to write something, nobody should be reading. And, that's, and that complements the read lock, right? Because if somebody's editing, that means nobody has a lock on your row or table, okay? So that's the two parts of locks, the exclusive and shared, and these are very critical to maintain integrity and consistency. The problem with locks is, yes, you'll get consistency, but at a, as an expense, writers who want to write, right, they will have more trouble e obtaining exclusive lock because it will be very hard. People, a lot of people will be reading. Some people, some applications will forget to release shared logs, thus nobody will, will be editing. There are a lot of ways to do something without acquiring a lock. And these are the four methods of isolation, okay? So you will, you will, you will pay certain price to get certain level of consistencies, but more throughput essentially you can write more okay but that's for maybe for another topic all right i actually talked about certain isolation levels and you the, the most expensive one which is the one we talked about using exclusive log and shared log 
to serialize people. It says, hey, you know what, you can't write, I'm sorry. If someone is reading, you can't write, you gotta wait, okay? Waiting is expensive. We don't want people to wait to write something, okay? So that's why we can live with a little bit of concurrency as an expense of certain consistency, okay? We're gonna talk about the isolation level in another episode. We'll be, this is a very light, kind of different software talk today, right? I'm here in beautiful San Francisco. This is pair number, I don't know really, but it's beautiful, I don't care. So beautiful, look at the city. Look at the city, beautiful, all right? All right guys, see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'll make more and more and more. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. See you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.